हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू डिजिटोनिक्स नेपाल स्टूडियो सेशन हम स्पार्टन थ्री एफ यू जी ए विथ जाइनिंग्स आई एस डिजाइन स्विट एक्चुअली दिस इज आवर थर्ड टूटोरियल सेशन वी अलरेडी हेव फर्स्ट टूटोरियल सेशन अन डिजाइनिंग बेसिक लॉजिकल गेट्स इन आई एस डिजाइन विथ इन बी एच डी एल फॉर स्पार्टन थ्री इन सेकेंड टूटोरियल सेशन वी हेव वर्क ऑन स्ट्रक्चरल डिजाइन इन बी एच डी एल फॉर स्पार्टन थ्री इन आई एस डिजाइन स्विट सो इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट स्टेट मशीन डिजाइन इन बी एच डी एल फाइन एट स्टेट मशीन डिजाइन इन बी एच डी एल एंड सिक्वेंस डिटेक्टर डिजाइन वन वन जीरो वन सिक्वेंस डिटेक्टर वी आर गोइंग टू डिजाइन एंड सिमुलेट एंड इम्प्लीमेंटेड सो दिस आर द फॉलोइंग स्टेप्स विच वी आर गोइंग टू फॉलो वी नीड टू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल अंडरस्टैंड दी कंडीशनल स्टेटमेंट ऑन दिस दी सेकेंड सेशन स्ट्रक्चरल डिजाइन बी एच डी एल वी हैवन टॉक अबाउट दी कंडीशनल स्टेटमेंट्स हाउ वी कैन यूज कंडीशनल स्टेटमेंट्स एंड वाट इज द प्रोसीड्यूर टू यूजिंग दोज कंडीशनल स्टेटमेंट्स सो इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दैट एंड वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ सिक्वेंस डिटेक्टर इन एफ एस एम सॉरी इन बी एच डी एल एंड वी विल क्रिएट अ सिमुलेशन टेस्टमेंट्स एंड वी विल क्रिएट अ कॉन्स्टेंट दैन आफ्टर वी विल क्रिएट अ Uh, we will implement a sequence detector in FPGA. Actually, these all are tested uh, programs. We already have tested it. Uh, we have just printed uh, these tutorials uh, to you um, uh, uh, this time. So let's let's uh, work on today's session on state machine design. And initially, we need to understand about conditional statements. So we will focus initially on uh, conditional statements. So you can visit our digitalnextnepal.com uh, website, uh, our digitalnextnepal's channel at YouTube. Uh, you can subscribe our channel too so let's uh, let's move on today's session on conditional statements so we will talk about conditional statements in bsdl initially so here is conditional statement in bsdl so let's uh, uh, go to uh, today's slide we have prepared slide uh, this is our uh, training module uh, package of uh, fga training so we have just uh, presented you our presentation session of our training module digital next nepal training module to you so let's uh, talk about this session so we already have understand the library and packages actually this screenshot are uh, taken from Douglas L Perry uh, BSL programming book so you can also visit that book too because we are open so uh, this is introduction into declaration section so this is architecture we have talked about this already so this is our main session today uh, conditional statements so uh uh we can have different uh, concurrent assignment statements uh, we are not going to talk this in detail so let's focus on process for using conditional statements we need to have process actually process a uh, concurrent statement uh process is a statement which runs concurrently because processes are concurrent so we can use conditional statement inside process only so if we are going to use conditional statements then we should care about process process is a statement which include conditional statements so uh, process have own syntax so uh, process we will insert sensitivity list uh, this syntax of process process must have sensitivity list which is actually a parameters or input output ports sorry input ports not the output ports which is dependent on ongoing process so process sensitivity list begin process should be have begin and process should have end in this statement and between begin and end we will have different sequential statement or conditional statements so this is a uh, general syntax of process so we are going to use uh, if statement then this is the syntax uh, is uh, this if statement is similar to uh, of uh, c programming conditional if, if statement but here is only one significant difference if we use then else if we use then so here is also difference e alias if this is else if not e alias e space if so you should care about these statements so if condition then this statement else if condition then this statement else if else if else if else if and else condition uh, is not required uh, because else is last condition so else sequence statement then we we will have another point also end if so there is three significant difference in uh, if statement uh, rather than c programming like we use then we use have different else if and we also have end if so we, we can have a uh, short example process a b c m n which are inputs of this process process begin 
because if statement need to be included in process uh, because this is sequential statement so sequential statement can't execute in BSDL separately so it must be included in process or concurrent statement so if condition m equals to n then this happens else if condition then this happens else this, this happens uh, and if end process end so uh, we also need to uh, have in process statement uh, we, there is only end so this is case so we can use case also so we are going to use case statement in start machine design so process is similar begin case case is like as a switch statement in c programming case sel select is a variable each when value of sel is 0 0 then this will happen when uh, value of sel is 1 0 this will happen when others condition means uh, might have some uh, value of xx because sel is uh, standard logic in bsdl so it might have different values nine logical states so the other condition it will do this uh, statement uh, then case must be end and process must be end this is the basic introduction of, uh, of uh, uh, if and case statement so you should care about process if then uh, case statement so let's uh, let's move to another slide we have another slide to which is actually uh sorry start machine okay this is start machine and let's go to sweat slide so from beginning so this is our uh, start machine So uh, let's talk about uh, start machine design. Uh, actually, uh, start machine is sequential logic uh, unit. Uh, um, combination uh, of se combination of circuits and sequential circuits. So it, it's like a uh, circuit which is sequential, uh, which also need memory requirements. Uh, there might have some significant number of states uh, or specified number of states, which uh, which it must have some inputs and some outputs variables. So it takes some combination it will compare with initial states initial values then it will give some output so state machines might be two types melee and more machines uh, you can see difference between melee and more machine actually melee machine is uh, depends on current input and state only while more machine is depend on current state only so it uh, more machine uh, takes input previously and it only checks the state value then melee machine also checks input and states so we are going to design this sequence detector 1011 in our uh, bhl project so in iac design suite for spartan 3 let's uh, let's move to our uh, project so i just need to have some short brief about this project sequence detector actually we need to have uh, some 1011 sequence detector so for that uh, we have uh, divided each digit into states because state machines are uh, uh, differentiate in different states, uh, number of states, finite states, which have some inputs, which have some outputs. So we have just uh, uh, differentiate one zero one one is A B C D four states. For A state, it will care about one one digit, first digit or MSP. So if uh, in the first A state one is input happen, then it will go to B state. Else, uh, while uh, there is zero input, it will always loop on itself so it will already stay on a state when uh, the first uh, sequence is detected or one is detected then it will give output zero and it will go to b then after uh, b also checks about second digit if uh, zero is second sequence then it will go to third with third uh, third stage uh, else it will move on itself so in c stage it will check about third bit one if uh, there is a uh, sequence of one detected then it will go to fourth d state else it will go to a because there is no probability of uh, um, uh, occurring the uh, predefined sequence of 1011 so it will go to starting state so uh, in uh, d state uh, this is uh, checking uh, last lsp one if there is one then it will give output because sequence is detected else it will go to c state so this is the uh, overall uh, uh, sequence detector uh, it's machine uh, algorithm so here is the entity of sequence detector we just need to have clock because this is sequential machine so it's sequential machine must synchronize with the clock so you should also have reset um, sequence sequence is the input uh, four bit input because we need uh, one zero one one so this is four bit input then we will also have some detection 
detection is output so sequence is three bit input clock reset this is our entity and in architecture there is only one step uh, difference uh, than another uh, programs like uh, architecture behavior of sequence detector is this is the architecture name and we have type type is actually a keyword which is also called is uh, enumerated uh, data type uh, keyword which actually create an enumerated data type user defined data type type is a type is a type is uh, a type data type which was created by type so it is created by us so this is user defined data type which is grouped uh, which uh, which is grouped with a b c d this a b c d is a type of data type so uh, this is signal actually this yellow line is only uh, uh, all the comments but uh, this this is only the main program we will see it on IEC design suite and uh, as a signal we already have defined in uh, previous structural design in, uh, session signal state state is actually a variable signal abcd sorry signal variable color which is type of state type state type is this and the starting value of this state uh, sorry this variable will be a these two lines determines the uh, uh, determines the uh, user defined data type of state type then it will start this will check the process process actually uh, consists of clock and reset because these are two inputs and sequence detect detection is also an input but uh, this sequence detection is not included in here so this is only to sensitivity list so process begin if reset is high means reset is paused uh, reset is clicked or uh, paused uh, sorry pushed uh, then detection will be zero instead will be uh, start from a and uh, else if rising is a clock then it will move on to case case state is when uh, when case is a means when case uh, when uh, value of state is a then what happens detection will be zero if sequence third is zero then state will be remain in a state else if sequence detected one then it will go to b and if when b this similar steps will uh, followed until when d uh, if sequence lsb sequence zero is zero then state will be go to c else if sequence uh, zero is one because one zero one one we just need to one have one so if that is uh, uh, there is a occurring of one then it will go to stage a with detection output one so we also have some delay after a thousand nanoseconds this must be type with this statement so uh, this if has been ended here and while using a case statement uh, when others need uh, to be here because it uh, closes the when uh, case uh, sorry case statement then after we will close case and in process in behavior this actually in the this uh, when value of cases so if you don't type when others condition there there might have there might be have some errors so here is a constraint for uh, uh, designing state machines we have targeted this constraint for i see sorry spartan 3e x 3 s 500 e board so this is only valid for x 3 s 500 e spartan 3 e development kit clock is at c9 this is always at c9 clock is predefined which is uh, internally connected and detection is layered and reset is push button sequence 0 1 2 3 are different switches so uh, this is the uh, overall uh, logic of uh, uh, sequence detector so let's uh, move to uh, let's move to IAC design suite okay uh, we already have type our program sequence detector so you should uh, type yourself uh, we have entity clock reset sequence detection type is to type is we already talk about this uh, this thing in our presentation so uh, this determines the user defined data type of state type so uh, we have created a state type of data type and state is a variable of state type starting value of state is a so uh, we, we signifies the starting uh, while at the starting it will start from a and in process clock and reset are uh, sensitivity list which uh, signifies that this uh, coming process uh, is sensitive uh, to ours clock and reset if clock a uh, value of clock and reset are changed then this will uh, process will be have some different outputs or changes so if reset is one state is started from a detection is zero else if rising up is a clock then we are going to have case statement
we already talk about this so we are not going to type ourselves so we already have typed this program initially so we can also see the rtl schematic of this this is our rtl schematic double click on it uh, we can see the state machine uh, actually uh, this is to find the states and this is the output logical function in the state d and another thing uh, we also have technology schematic this technology schematic determines the how much LUTs, how many LUTs we have used. Like we have used one, two, three, four, four LUT. So this can be also seen at resource summary. So we can see the summary of uh, actually here is a number of uh, four input LUTs are used. Four LUTs. We have these LUTs. We we doesn't have even use one percent of LUTs. So this is the uh, utilization summary, device utilization summary, and here is performance summary. Here is detailed reports. So we can also use these reports uh, for documentation of this project. So uh, this is our uh, technology schematic. Uh, this signifies how many LUTs and how many other input output um, like buffer supports have been used in this uh, design. So. Uh, we, we care about these parameters in detail design real-time design so this is our hard and fast tutorial so we just uh, uh, go to sequence tutorial of and we can have simulation test means also sorry actually I think we doesn't have updated our test means so let's let's uh, okay let's write a test means Okay, this is our template. Actually, we don't need to change our clock because sequence detector is dependent on clock. Clock is initially high, so we just need to write about sequence. So, how we going to write is our input uh, port, which is our input port is sequence. Sorry, sequence less than calls. Actually, sequence is four bit, so we are going to you give. One zero zero zero, is it it? So we we also can have reset, but we are not going to reset. Uh, so calls to if we keep reset one, then it will start from start from zero. So uh, we just need to copy this delay. Just going to change the value of one zero 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 one zero one zero one 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 one. This is random value. This this is, there isn't any pattern, so the size is provided random value. So I'm simulation. Let's uh, this is how UUT is a uh, you uh, you uh, sorry unit under test actually this is the top level program so we are just simulating this uh, test pen so it doesn't uh, do not uh, um, click on UUT if you click uh, this source and simulate this uh, you, you will get a different output so you just need to click on TB because we have signifying our uh, source with TB test pen so check it and simulate it I think it must appear with some simulation okay let's have a look go to full view so we have clock sequence is zero 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 and reset is also zero okay sorry about that mm, i have make reset always high because uh, reset always did a uh, job of uh, like So uh, we doesn't need to have reset. So let's uh, let's change our value. Reset and let's do. Uh, let's uh, change our reset area. Calls to zero. 
if I click reset then it will start from A so we are not going to be start from A let's simulate it this uh, soon I think there is also have some uh, difficulty so this is our sequence uh, clock is high so we just need to go to zoom in clock is high detection is 1011 Actually, I just need to review. Uh, okay, guys, I have just. Uh, commented the delay which is actually place uh, at this uh, condition actually this uh, makes some difficulties on our simulation so I have just uh, uh, improved my script and I have that I haven't changed it here so I just have to check uh, the main uh, program this is the main program sequence detection and then after uh, uh, I have simulated uh, actually I have some warnings uh, actually some some file management warning this this uh, actually of uh, I have included some files from different uh, different locations so this warning is happening uh, due to that cause so let's uh, check our syntax let's and simulate our model so we can see the simulation code we'll zoom to full view and, uh, even we can see this it is clock is high reset is zero this is and if we reset then detection will be zero at any condition mm, isn't it so we can go to this condition so clock is high reset is zero sequence is one zero one zero and at this condition clock is high reset is zero sequence is one zero one one and detection is high so detection is only high uh, when when the actual clock is high so here clock is zero if clock is zero this, uh, this uh, logic won't work so this is the clock high condition and detection is still zero uh, because of uh, uh, clock is uh, zero at this condition so it, it will just reset its value so we can also zoom it so if we like go to here here is clock is high and sequence is one zero one one and reset is zero so it will work so detection is uh, zero because of uh, actually uh, this uh, uh, situation is occurred due to have placed our uh, uh, test bench with some delay so this thousand uh, sorry hundred and second delay will make some significant changes so let's go to let's go to here clock is high uh, actually clock is uh, started from here and clock is ended to here so this is one cycle of clock so uh, 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 we have we, we can see uh, this in one cycle of clock there is a clock high reset zero sequence is that and detection is this this is our proof of our working our, of our circuit so we can also d sorry go to full view so we can click it here if clock is positive then it will work if clock is uh, negative because we have also included about rising edge of clock if you talk about this only work on rising edge of clock 
so if the clock is in rising age then it will work else it will give zero because clock is high state but that is it not not in rising age that is in falling age so so this is uh, happening it here so this is our uh, uh, simulation of sequence detector so let's exit it and uh, we can also have sorry uh, implementation we, uh, we can also have this type of constraint this is actually this constant actually generated from plan ahead uh, if you want to generate constant from plan ahead uh, i just uh, tell you how this constant has been generated and double click on floor plan area logic so actually this program is uh, uh, this program is uh, for designed for creating a constraint by uh, drop down menus like uh, by the system so we just need to have some drop down options but this application is a uh, little uh, uh, um, slow so we just uh, pick our constant from this user guide ourselves initially so we can also did uh, our constant set here so you can also get clock sources clock is here c9 you can you can also see on this part of three here is a constant of clock this is constant of clock so we can also write ourselves so else uh, we can go to plan ahead uh, this is our first uh, plan ahead session so let's have a look on it because the plan ahead is very much uh, intuitive but it is quite slow this is also a uh, demerits of plan ahead so in io ports go to io ports and see some scroll ports uh, currently our ports have been already mapped if uh, that is that haven't have mapped uh, there is some actually a uh, uh gray sorry brown type of these icons so we already have mapped so this is uh, yellow tick so you just need to have some go to here and you can type l13 and you can edit these values too so you just need to uh, reference this uh, user guide then after you can do it so after that you can save it it will it will send the changes append it here to our this uh, UCF file, so you can reopen it. So this is this is reopen. So we have some comments we have just uh, deleted. So it's okay. Uh, just close it. We have, we don't have any significance of plan ahead. So minimize it. So you can change it and configure the target device. Uh, this is all the steps because you can do uh, other steps yourself because we have. Uh, guided this stages in uh, different tutorials so we, we have also have simulation we have constraint so we are implementing and generating uh, these files for this part of three so uh, actually my recovery isn't working very well so I need to have so implementation is good and generation we are school then after you can configure target device as you already know about so this is our uh, actually our third tutorial session we are making uh, significant different type of tutorial session IEC design so because in first session we have created about logical logic gates design second session we have talked about structural design third session we have talked about state machine design actually this uh, session plan has been implemented by us from past three years for training purposes so we have just released our training materials uh, towards you by this to um, by this video tutorial session on youtube so you can also go to this so it will create impact so you can do on this can go to in slide chain you will get three devices and uh, uh, load a program bit file in first device and skip two device and uh, program the first device by right clicking on the first device of pg so let's uh, let's uh, do yourself uh, that stages of configuration so guys uh, this is all uh, much for third session on this part of three so let's uh, have a look on previous sessions too and you can also visit uh, signings website or google uses 230 for uh, user guide of spot on three and you can do lots of open IAC design suite so uh, this is much for today on this part on three so let's uh, uh, meet another tutorial session so thanks for watching